click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous videos we, are, we have seen what is the operation of a half wave controlled rectifier and what are the voltage and current, how voltage and current waveforms look like for the half wave controlled rectifier. In this video we are going to see the analysis of the voltage and controlled uh, voltage and current of the half wave controlled rectifier. So basically we are going to find out what will be the maximum output voltage for half wave controlled rectifier using resistive load. So let's train, uh, so friends let's do the analysis of the half wave controlled rectifier using resistive load. Here I'm assuming that you all know what is this, how the circuit of the half wave control rectifier resistive load is look like. With that average output voltage. Now I know what is the output voltage is for positive half cycle. I get the voltage output like this. So this is a positive half cycle. I'm considering this as a VM. Correct. And it will start at the point alpha. So if I consider this as a zero. Alpha is the firing angle from here onwards till pi that is a half cycle completed I get the output voltage for half wave control rectifier and then again it will be zero correct so now I'm going to see what is the output voltage what is the maximum output voltage I'm going to get so here I have written I have two part in analysis we have a two part one is the average output voltage that is a DC voltage and then what will be the RMS voltage root mean square voltage so first we are going to anal analyze for the average output voltage that is VLDC then we are go for a VL that is a load voltage RMS load voltage so here if you see I have written it can be analyzed by using the Fourier transform the voltage uh, always analyzed using a Fourier transform this is the general idea we all have so I have written VLDC is equal to 1 by 2 pi pi to al alpha to pi here you can see my output voltage waveform starts from the point where it gets the firing of the gate that is the point nothing but alpha till pi I have output voltage this is the which is the shaded area that is nothing but the my output voltage so 1 by 2 pi pi alpha to pi vm sin omega t d omega t here I have assumed that my input voltage is equal to vm sin omega t so this is my vm sin omega t which is appear across the load resistance from duration alpha to pi now let's solve it so if i have i can write 1 by 2 pi alpha to pi vm sin omega t so integration of a sin omega t is minus cos omega t so before i take this vm that is a constant which will be out so vm taken at out then alpha to pi I have a minus sign I will write sine omega t d omega t if I take the integration it will be like vm divided by 2 pi integration of a sine omega t is minus of cos omega t correct and this will be from alpha to pi now if I take this minus sign out so it will be minus vm by 2 pi cos omega t I will substitute this pi and alpha so this will be cos of pi minus cos of alpha correct so if I further simplify I will get cos of pi is equal to 0 so this will be minus vm divided by 2 pi sorry cos of pi is equal to minus 1 minus cos alpha here I will write cos of pi is equal to minus 1 so I have substituted if I take this minus sign out I will get vm divided by 2 pi in bracket 1 plus cos of alpha okay this is the output vldc 
for the half wave controlled rectifier now when my output voltage will be maximum if i want my output voltage is maximum that means i should have vm value correct so if i consider alpha is equal to 0 i can consider alpha is equal to 30 i can consider alpha is equal to 90 so if i consider first alpha is equal to 0 my vldc will be vm divided by 2 pi 1 plus cos of 0 is equal to 1 so i'll get 2 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out and my final output will be vm by pi and this is the maximum output voltage i can achieve if alpha is equal to 0 it is quite simple alpha is equal to 0 that means your scr will get firing at this point only and the whole voltage will appear across the scr are you getting my point if alpha is equal to 30 at 30 degree your scr will be triggered on then your output voltage will start from alpha is equal to 30 if alpha is equal to 90 it will start from somewhere here middle because it is from 0 to 180 so it will give you only the half voltage if alpha is equal to 90 you will get only half of the input voltage appear across the uh, resistive load but if alpha is equal to 0 it will start from the point 0 itself and you will get the whole voltage get appears across the resistive now if you if you understood this is the maximum output voltage that can be achieved then we'll go for the next that is the rms output voltage for our rms output voltage it is a under root rms is a root mean square so root mean square of the voltage that is a vl that we have found out in the previous section so rms output voltage is obtained from the load voltage where i have load voltage is equal to 1 by 2 pi alpha 2 pi vm square sin square omega t d omega t raised to 1 by 2 that is a square root of the vldc so again i'll simplify this so if i simplify this what i will get is 1 by 2 pi I can take Vm square out then in bracket sin square omega t is nothing but 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2. So it is sin square omega t can be write as a 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2. So I will substitute this into the equation it will give me 1 by 2 pi is taken out. So this will give me integration of alpha 2 pi 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 d omega t and the whole rest to 1 by 2. Correct? Now if I simplified it further it will be vm square divided by 2 pi. Again I will break this. So my equation will be like alpha 2 pi 1 by 2 this section i have taken out minus alpha 2 pi cos 2 omega t divided by 2 the whole rest to 1 by 2 now next step will be vm square divided by 2 pi i will take out this 1 by 2 so here what will remain it will be alpha minus pi that is the integration of a 1 only so it will be omega t minus here it will be 1 by 2 in bracket cos omega t the integration of a cos omega t is a sin omega t so I will write sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 pi the whole raised to 1 by 2 so we have got till this step where we have splitted this integration for 1 is pi minus alpha and for sine 2 omega t it is sine 2 alpha sine 2 pi minus sine 2 alpha now for further analysis i'll take this 1 by 2 out if i take this 1 by 2 out here i will get vm square divided by 2 into 2 4 pi in bracket what will remain pi minus alpha minus here if i substitute sine 2 pi is equal to 0 this will become plus 
minus minus this is zero so this term has gone if this is a minus sine 2 alpha it will be this minus and this minus will get plus you will get sine of 2 alpha and again the whole raised to 1 by 2 if you take the square root of this particular part you will get vm outside divide by 2 correct and in bracket there will be 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus sine 2 alpha the whole raised to 1 by 2 this is nothing but your V L R M S voltage. <coughs> so I'll again write load RMS voltage will be V M by 2 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus this 1 by pi is multiply with this whole bracket plus sine 2 alpha and the whole raised to 1 by 2. So, this is the my final expression for RMS voltage of half wave control rectifier. Now, after analysis, let's see what are the drawbacks of half wave control rectifier and why we go for a full wave rec rectifier. Output voltage contains large ripple. We have seen the output voltage waveform. So, if you see the output voltage waveform for a large output, you will get large ripples in output and that is a disadvantage. Then frequency is low. This will make filter design difficult. So, basically this rectification purpose is important where filtering is required. So, if it is giving a lot of ripple and it is working at a low frequency, at low frequency having a, a more ripples will make the filter design bulky and difficult. Average output is low due to the half rectification. This rectifier, this rectifier will rectify only in a positive half cycle and in negative half cycle there is no output voltage or no output is given. That means only for a one whole cycle only half of the output voltage is appear across the load voltage so only half rectification is giving so average output is low input power factor is very poor because it is having a it is having a high power rectification so only high output high input uh, only half of the input appear across the output voltage so power input is low for a half wave rectifier so due to this particular disadvantage of a half wave control rectifier we always prefer to have a full wave rectification that means for a positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle can be utilized for the rectification purpose so we are going to see the full wave rectifier in the next upcoming videos thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda do subscribe to ekeda